If you're building or remodeling, then taking action on what you learn in this short training video will be the most valuable thing you do for years. That's a bold statement to make, but it's true because it will help you avoid the number one costly mistake people make when doing a building project. Are you familiar with the term on time and on budget? If not, this concept is an important one. On time and on budget is a term used in all big projects from construction to IT to building roads. All projects are trying to meet their target. The term refers to completing a project within the planned time frame and within the planned budget. Often, this does not happen, and for your project, that's bad news. There are many reasons why projects might not come in on time and on budget, but by far the number one reason is lack of planning in the early phases. Here's the thing. At some point during your build or remodel, you're going to discover a way to make your project better. That's a given. It always happens. Every project. It could be a design change. It could be a window or door in a better place. It could be the layout of a room. It might be a design that saves you money or dramatically improves the livability of the spaces. But sooner or later, you're going to want to make a change. When shortcuts are taken early on and people rush into the design phase because they're eager to see their ideas manifest as drawings, then people do not discover all the options they had or what they really wanted until the concrete has already been poured. Without getting a full pre-designed diagnostic scan and research analysis diagnosis study conducted before the builder gets on site, homeowners regularly shortchange their design. Late discovery of your real needs or options leaves you crying, if only I'd known. That is why I create the pre-designed diagnostic scan and subsequent research analysis diagnosis study. There are five phases during a project when changes can be made. Pre-design diagnostic scan and research analysis diagnosis study, concept design and design development, construction technical documentation, bidding and negotiation, and then the construction phase. If you discover better options early, then you can make the changes effortlessly. Make your discoveries late and you pay exponentially more, or worse, you live in a house where you settled for a lesser option. Here's an indication of how costs change the later you make changes. At the pre-designed diagnostic scan stage, it might cost you a dollar to make a change. During concept design, maybe $5. Construction technical documentation, $10. Bidding and negotiation, $15. By the time you're in construction, it'll cost you $50, 50 times as much to make the same change. Now a picture tells a thousand words. With a pre-designed diagnostic scan and RAD study, you will never have to utter those tragic words, if only I'd known. Take a look at this graph. Time is on the bottom, on the x-axis. As time progresses, the opportunity to make changes decreases. This is common sense. It's a lot easier to move a concrete footing before it's been placed on the ground. Now, this graph represents the relative cost to make a change. As you can see, as time progresses, changes get increasingly more expensive. The best time to make a change is at the beginning of a project. This is why a pre-designed diagnostic scan and thorough research analysis diagnosis study should be your first two steps. Abraham Lincoln's quoted as saying, if I had nine hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first six sharpening my ax. Old Abe Lincoln understood that proper preparation early on can save a lot of time and effort in the long run. Or put into common modern terms, measure twice, cut once. When we overlay those two charts from before, you can see that at the beginning of a project, the opportunity for change is the greatest and the cost to make changes is least. It's at this point in the process that we want to thoroughly explore all of your options and check all of the limitations. This is why a proper pre-designed diagnostic scan and follow-up RAD study save time and money. You might be asking, do I absolutely need this pre-designed thing or RAD whatever? Well, here's a quick test to find out. Take out a pen and paper and give yourself a score for each of the following questions. 
Now, out of 10, how clear are you on exactly what you need? Out of 10, how aware are you of all of the various options your site will accommodate? Out of 10, how confident are you that you are aware of all of the legal requirements? Out of 10, how aware of you of the process you'll need to have in place to get the project completed on time and on budget? Out of 10, how confident are you that your budget will achieve your needs? Don't worry about not being able to answer all of these questions 10 out of 10 yet. The pre-designed diagnostic scan and RAD study will allow me to fill in the gaps and get you ready to move to the design phase. The first step you'll need to complete is the pre-designed diagnostic scan. It's both a feasibility check and initial target setting exercise. I designed both these processes a few years ago because I saw a huge issue in the construction industry of people starting design and even construction before they had fully done their research and homework. I saw most building projects going over time and over budget. The consequence of inadequate upfront research of your needs and your options is like building a house on bad foundations. The foundations are the most important part of the whole house because everything is built on top. It's very expensive to change the foundations once you have started to build on top of them, but it's very easy to change them if they are simply lines on a plan. This is what makes me different. I put far more effort into the research than most of the firms who rush along with their clients into the design phase, trying to figure things out as they go, spending money the entire time. I take a different approach. In fact, I will only work with clients who are prepared to do the pre-designed diagnostic scan and then the RAD study properly. I will not rush these first two steps. It only causes cost overruns later if I take shortcuts and don't establish solid foundations. The pre-design diagnostic scan and RAD study are the most important steps because they lay the foundation for the successful project. Once complete, the valuable insight you get out of this first phase could be used by me or by any other architect or draftsperson and will ultimately produce a better result for you. Can I save money by not paying for a pre-designed diagnostic scan, you might ask? Sure, you could skip this step or meet with someone who gives you a few ideas for free before rushing you into the design phase. But the answer though is not investing the time for a pre-design diagnostic scan and complete research analysis diagnosis study in depth can be the most expensive decision and the most expensive mistake you make during your project. The most cost-effective time to discover all of your options is now. To speak with me about saving you and your project time, money, and headache by signing up for a pre-designed diagnostic scan, please book a free diagnostic session using the link in the description below. Thanks for watching this brief training video. I look forward to working with you soon.